In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to perform a flood analysis using a model in ArcMap. First, I am going to create a new map in ArcMap and add in my contour data. Next, I am going to start Model Builder. I'm going to drag my contour layer into Model Builder and then search for the Topo to Raster Geoprocessing tool. I'm going to add that tool into the Model Builder screen. I'll connect my contours as an input feature. By double clicking on the Topo to Raster tool, I have access to more options in the settings. First, I will create an output location for my raster file. Then, I will create an output cell size of 5 units. A smaller unit will create a finer raster, but will take much longer to process. Next, I'm going to drag in the Fill tool and attach my raster output to this tool. The Fill tool helps to improve any imperfections that may be created when I rasterize my topo data. Next, I will need to convert my raster values into integer values. I can do this through the int tool. I then want to build a raster attribute table so that I have access to the raster values in a table format for further analysis. Now that the raster has been created and classified, I need to extract an attribute. To do this, I will take the output raster and create a query clause that extracts all values up to a value of 2. This means that I will create a raster image of flood levels 2 meters above sea level or above our 0 meter contour. Finally, I can add the raster to polygon tool referencing the value field and convert my raster calculation into a polygon that I can later bring into a 3D modeling program such as City Engine. Be sure to uncheck the Simplify Polygon checkbox to ensure shape accuracy. Now that my model is completed, I can click on the blue arrow next to Run, and my model will run. Once completed, I can add the output file to my map to check what a 2 meter sea level rise would look like on my site.
This completes the flood analysis tutorial. In the next video, we will take our contour data, flood data, and building shapes and bring them into City Engine for visualization.